Welcome back. It's me, Dr. Boyd, the chemist, and today we're going to talk about lab safety. All right, first things first, before you even go to the lab, like in the morning when you're getting ready to go to the lab, you need to be dressed appropriately if you know you're going to be working inside the lab, especially if you have things that can splash in the lab, like uh, chemical solvents that you may be using in the course of your reaction for that day. So, the rule is, you need to be covered from your shoulders all the way down to the bottom of your feet. Yep, that's right. Even my feet are well covered. You want to at least wear a short sleeve shirt. Do not wear shorts. Don't wear open toed shoes. Don't wear sandals. And definitely, do not go barefoot in the lab. You want to be covered up such that nothing can get on your skin in these vital areas of your body. Next thing, you definitely, before you go into the lab, want to cover up your eyes. This is what we use. These are called safety glasses. Now these safety glasses will protect me against projectiles that may fly at my eyes so that I don't lose my eyesight. However, if you're using chemicals, you want something even more uh, powerful than safety glasses. You want these. These are splash goggles. Splash goggles provide you with the same protection as safety glasses will, but in addition, splash goggles are covered all the way around the rim against your face so that if a chemical splashes, it won't get onto your face or onto your eyes where the goggles are present. And so it's very important for you to know the difference. With the wet chemicals that can splash, I definitely want to have on my safety splash goggles. If I'm not using wet chemicals, then the safety glasses may be okay. The next level of safety that I have to employ when I go to the lab is this handy lab coat. Now the lab coat will protect me, my clothing, from getting chemicals on it, especially if something splashes on me. So it's important for me to wear this because I don't want to take the chemicals from my lab home with me. I don't want them to get on my clothes. So as much as is possible, I want to be completely covered up with a lab coat in addition to my, sp my splash goggles or my safety glasses. Finally, if I'm working with chemicals, I definitely need to cover up my hands. That's why we have gloves. Now, the safety gloves are designed to protect my hands from getting chemicals on them. And this way, my skin won't be harmed, my fingers won't be harmed, and I won't be rubbing my eyes with something later on it's on my hand. Now make sure when you're wearing your safety glasses, your safety gloves, and your lab coat that you're still careful how you pick things up and how you handle them. You still, because you have the gloves on, you still don't want to rub your face at all while you're working in the lab. Furthermore, once you're finished with the gloves, before you leave, make sure to dispose of them. You take them off, put them in the proper waste receptacle. Then you take off your lab coat. You hang your lab coat in its appropriate location. And now I can take off my glasses or splash goggles and I'm ready to go. It's also important to wash your hands afterwards. Even though you're wearing the gloves, you still wanna wash your hands as a protective measure. Now, you're ready to go to the lab, you're ready to work hard, and you'll do it safely, and that's very important. I'll see you next time.